what's up guys and welcome to the Scarlet Halls Heroic Video Guide, okay? Today we're going through Scarlet Halls, the first boss up is the Houndmaster. Um, the Houndmaster is actually kind of a fun fight. Um, I pugged this dungeon just to try to get maybe a little bit more damage so I can get myself into seeing what you guys will be seeing in real life when you're pugging this dungeon. Uh, for this boss, there's a couple things you gotta watch out for. At 90, 80, 70, and 60%, the Houndmaster is going to summon his dog, okay? And so what you're doing is you're pretty much just burning him, the tank's picking these guys up, and you're kind of just AOE cleaving these dogs down as they come out. Um, that's the easiest way to deal with them. The next thing that you have to deal with is at um, 50%, he starts doing more damage. Um, it's more of the burn phase at this point. He doesn't summon any more dogs. Uh, so what you're really trying to do is because he has an ability at 90, 80, 70, 60, and then at 50 he starts doing more damage, it's really important that you get those dogs down as fast as you can. Um, he does do a random leap onto players, which is okay. It doesn't really hurt that bad. Um, he does his little spinning knives, which is fine. Again, in heroic mode, it doesn't hurt that bad. You can AOE heal through most of those, as you can see right there. It just came out. Um, but again, guys, that's really the main thing of the fight is just this is a great fight for like Ursal, Vortex, any uh, mass CC where you can kind of make sure that the dogs are grouped up, not stunning them, but just grouping them. Um, if you have a way to just make sure that the tank has time to get aggro and get them on them um, so that the DPS isn't pulling them off, that's really what you should be doing, especially in pugs. Um, some of these tanks, um, you just kind of got to give a little shove to. So that's really what you're looking to heal is just keep uh, your hots on the tank, AOE during blades, and just heal through the damage there. On to the second boss. The second boss is a pug's worst nightmare, okay? Um, this boss will make you so angry if you have a tank who's never been here. Matter of fact, if you have a tank, ask them while you're clearing track, have you ever been here? Even, it doesn't really matter what the answer is, okay? If the answer is yes or no, here's what you're gonna do. Okay. When he does his little blade of light, whirlwind, please don't get hit by it. Please run to the top of the stairs, okay? See the stairs behind him right now? All you're doing is you're gonna run to the top of those stairs when he starts channeling his blade of light, okay? What this is gonna do is if you get caught in this blade of light, it brings you in and spins you all around the room, okay? You cannot get out of it. Um, it hits like an absolute truck. It will kill any DPS or healer that's in it. And most of the time it will kill a tank too because you're going to LOS your healer because what you're doing as a healer is you're up on top of the stairs and then you jump down once he starts coming up the stairs and then you can go back up. The trick is is you want to make sure that these ads that are coming out are getting picked up by the tank if they're not again. Ursal's Vortex, great spell for right here. Make sure that you drop it in the middle, run back up the stairs. That gives the tank time to get aggro on them. You should be all set. Um, but that's the biggest mechanic of this uh, boss encounter is making sure that the tank's picking up the ads um, because he's gonna you're gonna get healer aggro guys that's the bottom line is if the tank's not picking up the ads quick enough you're still gonna get healer aggro so make sure you've got your personal defensive cooldowns like bark skin up um, make sure that you've got your hot roll on your tank that you're there's not really a whole lot of AOE damage going out it's really mostly avoidable damage and ad damage so the trick is really to make sure that the tank picks up all the ads and that you're healing through it until he can. As you can see here, I almost went down, but that's how you handle that blade. You stack up on the top of the stairs, as soon as it starts coming around, you just jump down, GG. Um, the tank can then sit on the bottom, collect all the ads. When the boss comes back down, he's already got aggro on him. No big deal there. Fight's over, you win, you get loot, moving on. Final boss of Heroic Scarlet Halls. Um, this boss is actually extremely, extremely simple on Heroic mode. There's really only a couple things that you have to watch out for. Um, he will channel a fire towards a bookshelf on the corners, there's four of them in the corners of the room. Um, if you see that channel, just go in front of it so that it doesn't light the books on fire. If it happens to light the books on fire, just stay away from that section of the room and you won't be that big of a deal. Um, the next ability that he does is called Dragon's Breath, where he pretty much does like a circle of Dragon's Breath as you can see right here. Obviously you just run around him so you don't get hit by it, and that's all you have to do. You can ice block, you can teleport through it, blink through it, whatever you gotta do, um, just don't get hit by it. 
the last thing uh, that he does is he does like a quickening mind where he makes his the next three spells almost instant. Um, if you can interrupt him, cool. It will really help you as a healer. If you can't, um, a lot of it you can just heal through. As you can see, there's not a lot of AOE damage going out, especially if you're blocking the bookshelves and you're staying spread out and you're not getting hit by the dragon's breath. Those are the main things with that boss. Um, other than that, it's really quite a simple fight. This dungeon overall, a uh, really good remake of a dungeon. I would recommend uh, coming in here and trying to get some loot. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun packs to pull. Um, especially as a healer, there's actually some good damage you can deal with. Make sure you have your dispels handy on this fight. Um, but this is Scarlet Halls, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.